Uh, another great <clears throat> show to watch. I'm hooked on HGTV. And we kind of seem a little obsessed with Saul Phillips here. He just is such <laughs> a great guy. And Nicole, too. Nicole Phillips I love is both a, of them, yeah. a friend of both of ours. Well, they were on national TV last night. I don't know if you heard about this. Not because he was coaching. Instead, because he was buying a home. Saul and Nicole Phillips and their family were on the wildly popular show House Hunters last night. Of course, they made the big move from Ohio to South Dakota. He coaches now in Aberdeen. Um, I missed it, but as I was reading through the uh, Facebook feed, someone said uh, that you can actually watch it. It's available to stream on HGTV Go app. Good so, for her. You know, Nicole and Saul, they are like personalities, a go-go. Right? Both of them. I was going to say, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they end up like HGTV calls them back. Like, hey, can we can we do a reality TV show with right? you and your family? You know, like, what's it like to be a coach and a coach's wife and all her kindness stuff? I mean, you never know. It'd be fantastic if they did. And I think, I think Nicole, I mean, she comes from this TV world, so she'd yep. be perfect. I love her. She has such great personality. And right. And she's also kind and celebrates yeah. kindness. Which Maybe we need you right should now. make the pitch. You should be a uh, her producer. I should. I mean, it was your <laughs> idea. Your so now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> director saying maybe be her agent. <laughs> yeah, we're looking right now actually for what's called OTT programming. So hey, you never know. We might be able to make that happen. So <laughs> uh, another uh, show that was perfect to be uh, on last night, and everyone was stuck at home. We've <clears> all been <throat> cheering on Felco, right? Would he win? Fargo's finest uh, was on the big show A and E, America's Top Dog. K-9 Falco and his handler, Officer David Cochran, were in the Top Dog Championship after winning their first round in January. Now, was this on last night? I think it was. I and, think it was uh, last night. Yeah, but I, I think that Falco did not, did not win. But he's still a top dog. Look at that. I love that picture, don't you? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's awesome. Like it's that just, should be, it's almost like a painting. It, it very much so. So, Falco, we love you, and... Uh, I wonder, he's got to be back in town by now, I would presume, I would right? Think like, so. That would be a, also a, a great guest. I'd love to talk to Felco. <laughs> 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 we just hang out with him. Okay, we'll talk to Officer We should just uh, bring him Cochran. in studio, yeah, and let him I hang know. out for a while. We could so. set up like an obstacle course in here somewhere. That would be fantastic. Yeah, and you could him. race him. I if you were out <laughs> jogging this morning, you could race him, and we'll see how that goes. I'll try uh, it. All right, so I was floating around Twitter, I don't know if it was last night or this morning, but I saw something interesting where... Savannah Gunthrie is now, you know, she hadn't been feeling perfect, so they ended up putting her downstairs in her basement in New York to do the Today Show, which, interesting idea. So anyways, that came up on my Twitter feed, so I started kind of bouncing around in Twitter, and then I saw this, I thought, oh, this is cool. So I don't know if you remember Christine Stanwood, she used to work here, and she tweeted something out, I guess, about a book that um, Savannah and Hoda Kotb had put together. I guess it's got like, kind of these daily motivation type things. Anyways... Nice thing here. Savannah Gunthrie ended up retweeting it and giving her some love. So I thought that was pretty sweet to see for Christine and uh, putting some good vibes out there. So good for her.